Hey there everybody, welcome back to year one of the Detroit Red Wings. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different than my last video, because we probably won't get a lot of simming done, we might get a little bit, but I just wanted to take this time and discuss some of the trades that I had made to make this team what it is. Um, we are going to start with the largest trade, which was to Anaheim, let me just get my piece of paper here, and from Detroit we traded Cronwall, uh, Evgeny Shvestnikov, Mike Green, Datsuk, and Howard for Sammy Vatnin, Hampus Lindholm, Cam Fowler, and John Gibson. Now that seems like we gave up quite a bit there, but you have to, you know, yeah, you also have to think that we got back three solid defensemen and a pretty good goalie. So we got, and they're and they're all young, which is really nice, especially Lindholm. He should grow into a very very nice defender, in my own opinion. We gave up some of our older assets, um, Howard, Datsuk, and Cromwell. Datsuk was actually going to retire at the end of this year, which is why I decided to get rid of him now. So, I think that we came off pretty good in that trade. Now, the second trade that we went for was we traded Zetterberg and a rookie. I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher this name, but we traded rookie Nas... Nas Nastasiuk? Nastasiuk? I have no idea how to actually say that, but we traded both of them for Druin, Jonathan Druin, and Nikita Kucherov. Now, moving on to our lower, you know, kind of less, you know, less important, I guess, pickups and trades, we moved down to Minnesota, where we got Mikael Granlund for Gustav Nyquist. So, that one, uh, hmm. I think that we probably could have done a little bit better and gotten a little bit better for uh, second line center, but it's okay. I'm kind of happy for right now. I actually am going to discuss this line right here in a little bit. And then we moved down to Ottawa, and we traded Helm and Tergeron for Lazar, Pegu, who is now the first line center of our AHL team because we decided to bring up Athansu. And we also got another rookie, which is Matt Puimpul. I probably just butchered that name too, but oh well. <laughs> Alright, and then moving back up, we traded Abdelkader for Panarin. Now, those are our major trades, so the teams that we have to be on the lookout for are Chicago, Minnesota, Ottawa, uh, Tampa Bay, and Anaheim. So, now moving on to my possible trades. So, Panarin, Grandlin, and Kucherov. Honestly, I don't think that these guys are getting it done very well. They have 21 points in 38 games played, which is really not that great, in my own opinion. Um, not for their caliber, anyway. And Granlin only has 19 points. I do know that he's only at 85, but you figure with a passing at 89 and offensive awareness at 87, he would be doing a little bit better. Now, we move on to Panarin. And you would expect him to be doing a lot better based off of his stats. Now, his shooting isn't the greatest, but his puck skills, skating, and his offensive awareness is pretty decent, I'd say. But he still only has 20 points. So, I mean, as to compare, you know, Dylan Larkin here, 84, and he's got 32 points. So, personally, I am thinking about making some trades. I'm going to go ahead and go to the uh, trade screen and... I may trade for them, I may not, it depends. We'll just uh, we'll have to see, but the trades that I've worked out is Kucherov for Mark Stone of the Ottawa Senators. Now, we do not have a lot of big bodies on our team. We mainly have finesse players and snipers, so I thought that maybe bringing in a young power forward would be kind of nice. Oh, yeah, I forgot that you cannot click over the player there. All right, then. So we have Mark Stone here. He shoots right. He is 23 years old. He's a top six forward. And this season alone, he has 27 points thus far, which is six more than Kucherov has. And personally, I think that this would be a pretty decent pickup considering his body size and his presence on the ice. So I was thinking about Kucherov for Mark Stone. The second trade I have is possibly Panarin for 
Nishushkin from the Dallas Stars. So one second, let's go ahead and see if this would go through just as it is. And of course not. The Ottawa Senators are totally unwilling to part ways with what you've requested from us. You've met our block needs well enough, but the value you have on the table is too far off. So let's... Mm, I don't want to give up a whole lot. You know, I don't do a lot of drafting just, well, you know, just because I don't really like drafting all that much. But, let's see. Maybe they will take Kucherov in a second for Mark Stone, and they do. Awesome. All right, so now we have Mark Stone of the Ottawa Senators. Okay, let's find just edit lines really quick. Now, the second one that I was thinking about was going for Nichuskin of the Dallas Stars. He is a left winger. He is a sniper just like Panarin, but he is four years younger, if I remember correctly. He is 20. Let's go over to Dallas really quick. There we go. Okay, now let's find... Forwards, and... uh, There he is, right there. So he is a... I'm sorry, guys. I keep on forgetting that you cannot bring up their player profiles whenever you're at the trade screen. So he is a right wing sniper as well, but I am going to switch him. So, as you can tell, he is 20. He is four years younger than Panarin, but he has six more points than Panarin. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think that having a player like this, he is also a big bodied forward, but he can also put the puck in the net. So I think that trading Panarin for Nichuskin. Uh, would be rather smart, in my own opinion. Because Panarin... It's hard to say if he's actually going to produce anymore or if he's just pretty much going to dwindle off. Awesome, and they took that deal as well. Great. Alright, let's go ahead and add him really quick. To the left wing position. Of course, actually, I think what I'm going to do is actually swap Stone and put Stone on the left since he shoots right. And I just prefer to have my left winger shoot right and my right winger shoot left for some weird reason. <laughs> I guess that's just personal taste, but we'll see how that works. Alright, there we go. Now we've got Mark Stone there, and we also have uh, Nachuskin. Now, the last person that I was thinking about was trading Mikael Granlin for Sam Bennett of the Calgary Flames. Now, Sam Bennett is three years younger, or is he actually younger? Uh, let me check really quick. All right, let's go ahead and go to Sam Bennett really quick. All right, Sam Bennett, he's a medium tox... Oh, never mind, he is four years younger than Mikael Granlin, yet he also has 21 points. So, I do think that Sam Bennett would benefit our team more so than Mikael Granlin because he is going to grow a lot more. Um, just because he's 19 and Mikael only has, I think, maybe two or three, three more years if, if we're lucky of growth, really. Now, the only other person that I was thinking about possibly trading for was back in Ottawa. Yeah, heck, we've been doing a lot of trading with Ottawa, but is Miku Zabinajad. And, or Mika Zabinajad, sorry. And... I don't know how, but he has 35 points in 38 games. I mean, even checking his last year, I mean, he went from 46 points in 80 games played all the way up to 35 points in 38 games played. So, I mean, his stats are pretty decent the way that they are. But, personally, I think I would rather trade Mikael Granlin for Sam Bennett at this moment. And we should see how that goes and keep him around for the rest of the season because he is a young one. He's four years younger than uh, Mikael Grandlin, like I was saying before. And personally, I think that it would end up working out a little bit better. So we're going to see. Awesome. And they accept it. Perfect. All right. So now all we have to do is add Sam Bennett to our lineup. And we will see how this really young young gun squad actually runs. Alrighty, and we will uh, we'll take a look at all the uh, lines here in just one second, so that way you guys can have a good picture of seeing, you know, of uh, recommended line changes and stuff like that. So, Afansu, honestly, I really want Afansu to grow and replace Shahan. That way I can replace, or I, that way I can actually trade Shahan away, because 
Honestly, I do not want to have two two-way forwards on two different lines. Just because they don't produce a whole lot of offense. And honestly, Shahan is a minus two, and his defense is not all that great, unfortunately. Uh, maybe that'll change by the end of the season. I'm hoping it will, but I'm also hoping that Thansu can grow and actually overtake Shahan as far as the de defensive stats go. And also be able to maybe outproduce him a little bit in the offense. So we're going to see if Thansu can take away Shahan's spot there and see if, uh, see if he produces more than, uh, Pejo right here. Because in the NHL, he actually had 14 points for us in 38 games, which is really not that bad considering that he's playing on the fourth line. But, alright, the last thing I want to, uh, end off on this video is showing you Polkanen's stats here. He actually has, on the bottom line, he is, I think... As far as wingers go, one of our top producing wingers, he's actually got 16 points playing on the fourth line. As compared to Curtis Lazar here, who only has 12 points. But, that is a little bit understandable considering that he is a power forward and Polkanen is a sniper. But I'm really hoping that Mark Stone and Nachuskin and Sam Bennett can get it done on the uh, second line. And put up some more points than the other line was putting up. Because they just were not doing a whole lot for us. So we're going to see how this goes. And hopefully uh, we'll get some player growth. And Mark Stone can kind of be the bodyguard to uh, Sam Bennett. And same thing with Nachuskin. So, alright guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to leave a like. Uh, if you want to stay up to date on all my GM modes. And possible giveaways and hut and all that. Just go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you with the next video. So that way we can